Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. Been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals. I go out and I go get it. How to code, that's all I know. I don't succeed, then I don't breathe. Success, what does it mean? If I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles, compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles, go take care of your business. Success Chronicles, it's deeper than just winning. Success Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today, really excited to have uh, this guest, uh, Mr. Matthew Flippin with us. Uh, awesome guy um, coming from a great family that's doing great things. And so I'm truly grateful to have him on. Been looking forward to this. So first, thanks so much for taking the time to interview with me. Oh, for sure. Chip, it's my pleasure. I am a huge fan of yours. So thanks for thanks for including me in what you're doing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let's dive into it. If you don't mind uh, sharing with the audience, you know, a little bit about who you are and what it is you do. Sure. Yeah, I'd love I'd love to do that. So, yeah, Matthew Flippin, I, I'm, a, I'm a native Texan. I think I'm a fifth generation uh, Texan. Our, our family came to Texas as, as ranchers and that entrepreneurial spirit carried forward five generations all the way to my all the way to myself. I currently am president of Hartwell University a new institution that we started uh, a little over a year ago to help fill the massive vacancy that is in our schools for teachers. And so uh, our goal is to help teachers aides uh, obtain an affordable online degree that prepares them to be competent, compassionate educators and go back in the classrooms where they're already serving uh, to meet the needs of children. Two, two words in response to that, and those two words are so good. Thanks <laughs> for <laughs> so, saying that. So, so good. No, I think, um, you know, just in talking with, you know, off air and, and know, you know, what you're about, what you believe in, mm-hmm. I think it's great. I think it's a blessing uh, to so many. And the fact that you're, you know, targeting, you know, paraprofessionals, which mm-hmm. gives them opportunities it's so amazing. It'll not only just change the individuals, but it'll change families for generations. Sure. Yeah, for sure. You know, you've probably seen situationship where there's somebody that you really want to help, but you just can't. You can't do it in a way or there's so much need. Your resources don't allow you to, to address this need. And I can't remember if I shared with you or not, but I, I ended up getting to work in Haiti, in the country of Haiti, for almost eight years. And Haiti is one of those overwhelming need circumstances. And, you know, of course, your heart breaks every time you look at the little ones running around and you see the moms trying to provide. But then you come back over to our country and you see similar things. You see moms wanting the best for their children, but circumstances have trapped them in a situation where they don't feel like there's hope. So I just feel so blessed that we were able to come up, come up with a process and a path where those moms that have that desire to be great teachers now have a path, now have hope. And it really is just a, a, a humbling blessing to get to partner with them on that journey. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, what are what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? No, oh, <laughs> that's a that's a great question. How do how do I narrow it down to three? I think I probably the first thing that comes to mind is I married my high school sweetheart at 19, mm. and we're about to celebrate 30 years of marriage. And I know the 19 year old version of me is not what she expected to be married to. You know this this length of time. I hope I. I've grown some during that time. <laughs> so, so I'd say that that's number one, yeah. you know, number two, you know, we've, we are fortunate to have four children and um, two are biological children that are 27 and 25. And then we uh, were blessed to be able to adopt twin boys when they were babies from Ethiopia, they just turned 15, two weeks ago. And uh, you know, I, I don't know if I'd say it's an accomplishment, but for me, it's one of the, the best experiences in my life 
that God led us to adopt and that these boys call me daddy. Gave me chills. Yeah. And is there any uh, another one? Any any other is one that you have? One? You know, I I'd like to say at this point I'd say launching Hartwell would be the third one. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, there are so many things we want to accomplish with that. You know, there are there are over two hundred thousand vacant classrooms in the country that don't have a teacher, and so, so the accomplishment would be if we were able to fill those. That's the that's we, you'll have to circle back with me and yes. see how we did. Uh, we'll do. We'll definitely do a follow up on that. <laughs> That'd be about great. That. Yes, sir. Well, you know, just listen to you talk about, you know, your journey, your life story, uh, your beliefs, some of the things that you're involved in, the things that you're proud of. I would consider that to be hugely successful. So let's let's hit on success. What is your definition of success? Oh, that's really a great question, Chip. And, you know, success is measured all kinds of ways. And, you know, many people will look at business success or financial success and say that 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 is the measure. You know, a person's accumulation of things is how we measure success. My pile of toys is bigger than your pile, so I'm successful. But is that really what success is? I mean, I just don't believe we're put on earth with the sole purpose and goal of accumulating things. I actually think we are here to accumulate relationships and that the value of those relationships is how we measure our success. So. Does my wife love me? <laughs> you know, does she want to hold my hand still yeah. after 30 years of marriage? Well, man, I'm that's a success. <laughs> that's a win. <laughs> right? You know, do my do my twin boys still lay their head down on my chest when they watch TV, you know, even though they're 15 and too heavy really to lay on me? Right. That's that's success. You know, are we doing something with our work time that is meaningful, that that ultimately connects to making an impact on other people? If we are doing those things, well, that that's success. That doesn't have anything to do with a pile of things. It's more about, I'd rather end with a pile of relationships. Amen. And I want to share this quote with you. Um, this quote is by uh, Pastor Danny Green. He's there in College Station as well. And mm-hmm. uh, he, he shared this quote. And, and when I heard it, it blew me away. Right. And so and I always share this with people because I I believe in this. It's my relationship. And he said um, our life moves at the speed of our relationships. Mm, For sure. That is true. Oh, my gosh. You know, that that fits with that saying, you know, if you want to go fast, uh, you go by yourself. Right. If you want to go long. Right. You go with (laughs) with your team. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I think that, I think that's really true. You know, Chip, you, you've evidenced that in your life. I think about all the places you're invited to speak and people you're getting to pour into marks you're making on young people that, you know, will last a lifetime. So I just commend you for continuing to do that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I just, um, first off, um, know that it's not all me <laughs> you know of course. I, I know that I understand. and i've been blessed to to have some amazing relationships and, mm-hmm. and be around some great people to learn from mm-hmm. which is which is really what my mission is about is highlighting those amazing people that i've been blessed that the big man has blessed uh, me to cross paths with and so sure, sure. i think when you're doing and you'll understand this because you're all about this you know, I think when you when you strive to do things with with pure hearted intentions, uh, just striving to help and give service, I think the big man always sees fit to find ways to take care of you. Sure, I think so. I think so. Not that the journey is easy. No, uh, that uh, oftentimes it's those hard hard experiences that are the most character shaping and building. I know you've been through through some of those, you know, I can, I can look back and think about some of the experiences I had in Haiti were uh, just um, extremely difficult, you know, very Mm -hmm. emotional times, you know, when you're raising children, you know, there are times where you just don't know what to do and what steps to take. And the only thing you can do is pray and ask for, you know, ask for counsel from close, close friends. And, 
you know, we face all kinds of work challenges all the time too. So it's, you know, it's those, um, those experiences that allow us to look back and provide encouragement to others, you know, that have been through hard times. I don't know enough of your backstory, but being from her in Texas, I would imagine there's a lot to, a lot to that you, you've faced through your life and career that, yeah. you know, has allowed you to relate to so many. Oh, yes. And, and I think uh, <clears throat> just like anything in our life, um, we have to grow through what we go through. And so, Absolutely. you know, we can, we can look at it, any of that as excuses. Yes. Oh, for me, or we can say, hey, you know, uh, not why is it happening to me, but why it's happening for me. Right. And then sure. when we change that mindset shift and that perspective mm-hmm. that allows mm-hmm. us to grow through those things. And then, like you said, all right, so now I can shift those lessons that I've learned. And now how can I use those to be a blessing to others? And that's mm-hmm. where the magic happens right there. Absolutely. Uh, because you Absolutely. put yourself in a position where you know, hey, it's not about me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bigger than me. You know, it's that about so what true. I can do to help others. That is really true. We ask a question in one of our courses um, at Hartwell, and the question is, what's an experience you've had in your life that God has used to make you a better teacher? Mm. And it's allowed our paraprofessional students to think, think about the circumstances they faced. I mean, many have faced some real trauma and, uh, and then they share this just beautiful perspective about how they see children that were them at that age and they can recognize them and go right up to them, put their arm around them and say, hey, I, I know I was right where you are. So let me let me share with you some thoughts on how to not take the path that I took. Uh, it's really encouraging. Mm, it gave me chills because <clears throat> it's so true. You know, I think about, you know, just some of the things I've had to go through as well. And when you're working with kids, like you can, when you've, when you've experienced the hurt and pain and you can see it, like you said, like they exactly. don't even have to say it, like you can see it on them, mm-hmm. you know? And so, so, you true. know, like, Hey, you can, you can reassure them and encourage them and say, Hey, no, you're going to be all right. Just keep doing your thing because I've had people to do that for me. I know mm. what it feels like to receive that. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. I've been through, uh, you know, one of the things about measuring success and how you have to be careful about how you measure success because it affects how you respond to, to mm. what some might call failure. Right. And so if you, if, you know, if you, if you approach success as I've got to win every time, and then you have a business failure, for example, which I've been through several business failures. Um, you know, how, how do you respond to that? And I, I think teachers and, and, and students, you know, they face it all the time. Kids face it on the sports field, trying out for a position, face it in the classroom with a grade. But learning how to shift our minds to say, you know, hey, no, I didn't, I didn't perform to the level I wanted to in that circumstance. What can I take away from that and learn so that I can go and apply and do, do better next time? That's it. That's it. Well, great conversation. Before we get off, I want to give you an opportunity to share with the audience where they can go and follow you and check you out and show you some love and check out Hartwell. University. Sure, sure. Uh, go from there and show you some love. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I, Hartwell University, you can, you can definitely look that up online, search for us and and that we are uh, enrolling new students all the time that want to be incredible teachers. We're a one focused uh, university. And so all we do is educate educators. And I'm, uh, I'm thrilled to do that. Of course, you can look me up on LinkedIn and uh, you know, I'd love to be of any help that I can. I think, I think Chip, the other group that I want to mention too, you know, there are, there are uh, people that have just been through hard circumstances that have caused them to, lose a dream that they had about being a teacher. They think that I can't afford it. They think it's too hard. I got to go back to school. They, they put in their, their mind, and in some cases, real barriers to accomplishing a dream they had about pouring into young people as a teacher. Hartwell has taken the, the steps to eliminate all those barriers. 
barriers. And so we hope that if that is your dream, whether God's put that on your heart or you had it as a little child, that you'll get in touch with us and let's see if we can partner together to help that dream become a reality. Mm, so good. Oh, wait, I said that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, well, again, thanks so much for taking the time yeah. to interview with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate it. And I wish you continued success. Yes, yeah, thanks so much, Chip. Appreciate right. that. Yes, sir. And thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. God bless. Go get it.